do you want to display dynamically top and value based on user selection in table chart hi this is krupali from knowhow academy so let's start with me in this video you are going to display top 5 value or you can say top n value based on user selection from slicer to table chart so let's say here i am displaying top 3 value so if the top 3 is selected table chart is displaying top 3 value if i increase the value to 7 so my table chart will display top 7 value so how you can do that you can do that in power bi using top n function and rank x function and you need to combine this and you can display this So let's see how you can do that. So let me take a new screen uh, here. Okay. So to do that, first of all, what you need to do? First of all, here you need to decide what you want to display dynamically. So here I am displaying top five customer name or top five buyer name or top n buyer name. So I want to decide a top n buyer name. So my base value is buyer name. So first of all let me take a table chart now i am taking a table chart and here i am from the mobile data so i am using mobile phone data let me show you what data is about this data include which model we are selling what uh, what is the buyer name buyer age buyer gender what is the purchase price color storage capacity etc so this is my data set okay so first of all i want to display buyer's name so here the one column name is their buyer name okay and let me just uh, format this paint uh, copy the format of the table chart and display it so you know it will display proper data then what i need to do i need to display total purchase okay so purchase price that is sum of purchase price i am displaying now what i want to do i want to display top n value so first of all you need to decide you want to decide top n value based on what so based on purchase price uh, whoever paid less then there will be a second then then less third fourth and so on so for that i need to first give a rank to the customer now rank to the customer based on what based on their price and here my base column is buyer name now if you don't know about rank function we have already created a video on how to give a rank to the particular column based on some value so you can check it out that link and see this video then you can come here to see this video again okay so for that i am giving a rank to the customer so how you can give rank to the customer so let me right click on it and create a new measure and here i am giving a rank to the customer so rank customer equal to then i need to use a rank x function now inside a rank x function based on which column i want to display so based on buyer's name i want to display so all then mobile phone and then data set name we can say that and buyer's name then what i want to do based on some of the price that means total price so i have already created a measure the name of the measure is total sell okay so we can use that di measure directly so let me write the measure name that is total sell then which on based on what so based on descending value i want to give a rank so i am selecting descending and which type of rank you want to give i want to give a rank based on a uh, dense rank that means if two customer contain same value then we will give one one and the next will be the second okay so i don't want to skip the second rank that's why i am selecting dense and complete the bracket so my rank uh, is ready now let me display the rank of the customer here in a table chart okay so this is the rank now let me just arrange rank in ascending order whoever is paying more value to me so they are getting uh, not me but whoever paying more value to the company so they get the first rank so jessica is the person or customer who is uh, paid more to the company so she is 
top one customer now what i want to do i want to display top and value so top and value means what so let's say i want to display top five value so only this first five value i should display if i want to see top 10 value so only top 10 customers so till 10 number i want to display the data first of all you need to understand how we can select top and value from that to find out the top and value what i will do i will create one another measure which will decide whether the rank of the customer is less than or equal to 5 then we will display otherwise we will not display so let me create a measure okay so measure that is top and data equal to then what i want to do i want to decide if the rank is less than or equal to 5 so i'm selecting rank if then rank of the customer so let's say rank customer is less than or equal to 5 then i want to display total uh, cell value okay so we have already created a measure that is total cell and otherwise we don't want to display anything so let me select that and top and customer data i will put it in that now see here it is displaying the total on the only top five this total list of the customer total it is not displaying so basically we are making redundant value which will display sum of purchase price and top end customer so let me delete this so it's not needed and let me just rank here okay so top five and rank i don't want to display actually i want to display only the top end customer purchase okay so we can just here top end customer purchase so we can do that and here also rank i don't want to display automatically we can say that whoever is first they will be first number second number and third number so let me remove that so here it is displaying the top end value now here what happened what if i want to display top two person so what i need to do again i need to do go here and change the condition and then click on ok so it will display that but every time if my requirement is changed to two, top 2 to top 5, top 6, top 10. So every time to do this, is it good idea to make change in formula? No, it is not good idea. So what we will do? Dynamically, we will create something that will decide the top n value. Okay, so let's say here, what I did, I put a slicer. And when I in decrease the value of slicer, top end value is decreasing according to that. When I increase the slicer value, automatically based on whatever value it is there, table data is changing. So how you can do that? So to do that in Power BI, first of all, you need to go to the modeling and here you need to use the concept of parameter. So click on the new parameter and which type of parameter you want to create. So top end that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is a numeric range. So you need to select numeric range. Now what will be the name of the parameter you want to give? So here I want to give top end customer. Okay. And which type of data type you want to. So it will contain 1, 2, 3. So it's a whole number. Now what can be the minimum value? So minimum value can be 1 and maximum value can be 20. You can change it. So I want to keep it as top max to max. I can see top 10 customer, not more than this. So instead of uh, 20, I'm making it as a 10. And how much it can be incremented? So incremented means, let's say if I increase my slicer little bit, so it will increment the value by 1. So that's why I need to increment it by 1. And what can be the default value? So default value can be 1. Okay, so my slicer will start with 1 and end with 10. And when you increase it little bit, it will increment it by 1. And here you need to click on add slicer to this page and click on create. So once you click on create, automatically you can see that slicer is added. Okay, now let me format the slicer little bit. So, you know, we can see it properly. We are making it background. And let's say here, when I changing it, the value here is changing. So let's say if I'm increasing little bit, so three, 
then 4, then 5, 6, 7 and if I go to last, max to max 10 it will go and if I go to the beginning, uh, it will start with 1, okay? And let me increase the value of font, okay? So I can see properly, okay? Now what here, if you add slicer, what you will see in your data set? Automatically one table will be added in that. Now see what it will contain. So you need to click and go to the data section again sorry you need to click so automatically whatever value you have created that is 1 to 10 so generate series function is automatically written and it will contain the value 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 10 so when you create your parameter automatically one table will be created which contain one column which start with first value that is 1 increment value will be 1 whatever I have given and till what it will contain so till 10 it will contain okay now what I need to do here in top end customer instead of uh, writing it let me just go to mobile phone and uh, top end customer instead of writing no here this is a rank actually let me just go to the top end customer measure which I have created let me check where it is so here oh by mistake I have created in fitness data sorry so make sure that you create your measure in correct table okay I by mistake created in that so top end customer and here so by default you have written it too but what I need to do instead of that I need to write top end now see top end customer top end value you need to write it okay so this table and the column name which you are referring now whatever value you have selected using the slicer it will put automatically here and complete the bracket sorry not complete the bracket click on plus sign to execute now see here it is selected one if you click on two here in table chat it will display top two customer now if you select four then you can see that top four customer it is displaying so this way you can create one table chart in power bi which will display top and value dynamically now if you have seen that you know we are displaying uh, one customized header in a table chart now what header we are displaying here so top seven customer now if i uh, in decrease it so here it is displaying top five customer so let me show you how you can do that so i'm not writing the code i can directly display here what i have written so click on the table chat go to the general and click on the title now here in a title generally if you uh, go to any of the thing and when you switch on the title you will able to see the text but here when you click on the table chat and click on the title you are getting this effects now what is the meaning of that when you click on fx you will get the value in that now what this contain let me show you so when you click on fx it is in top cell value so let me check where it is so what it is contain top cell value so top cell value is containing the some measure which displaying something so basically to display this customized header in table chat you need to create a measure on that so let's create a measure on that okay so to do this right click on a data set and create a new measure and here i'm creating table title table title then i want to display what top and customers so top is a fix so i'm writing it in a double quotation so top then i want to put space and then i want to concatenate the value which is selected dynamically so for concatenation sign you need to use ampersand person sign then you need to write top so you know whatever date table we have created through parameter we need to write that table name and then column name then what we need to do we need to use a concatenate sign and write customer or we can say customer or customers okay and then click on okay now click on the table chart and go to the general and if it is off then you need to make it on and if it is on then let it be as it is then you need to click on fx now what you want to display so basically fx is what fx is displaying table title dynamically 
based on some formula. So for that, you need to click on FX, then select the field value. Then you need to select what? You want to select a measure which you have created. So I have created measure under the mobile phone and the name of the measure is I think table title we have created and click on OK. Now see top four customer it is displaying. Then top five, top six, top eight, you can see that. So here we learn how to create a dynamic table based on top and value and you already learn how to create a dynamic table heading using a measure. So I hope you get how to create a top end value dynamically and display it in a table chart. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as a source of your IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious and keep learning.